beautiful day for Valentine's Day on Tuesday. Lynn, back to you. All right, thanks for that, Aaron. We are talking tennis after the break. Davis Cup highlights, and Jay sits down with Ryan Clark from Tennis BC. Stay with us. In my dream, I'm breaking away. Goals are just three. With a start and a finish. Your dream starts here. The BC Game. Both these kids are eating identical ice cream. The dish on the left was free, with PC points earned with the President's Choice Financial MasterCard. Does free food taste better? <laughs> you tell me. Apply today and get $40 in free food fast. Both these dishes were made with identical ingredients. The food on the left was free, with PC points earned with the President's Choice Financial MasterCard. Does free food taste better? <laughs> you tell me. Get free food fast, plus no annual fee. There's a lot of trucks to choose from out there. But if you're looking for the longest lasting line of pickups and the pickup more Canadian truck owners are switching to, there's only one. Ram. That'll thin out the herd real quick. Right now, get a new 2012 Ram 1500 SXT 4x4 for less than $26,000. Guts, glory, Ram. In my family, there are two things we all love, traveling and learning. If you want your child to be inspired to learn and get better grades in school, Sylvan is your answer. Now you can enter to win a family vacation to Anaheim. And what's not to love about that? Here's Travel Best Bets with Claire New. Discover the Northern Lights in picturesque Whitehorse Yukon until May 21st air and two nights accommodation 579. Call toll free or visit TravelBestBets.com. Oh, hey guys. Before we go in, uh, you're not going to present another TV ad trying to be funny with a bunch of crazy stuff happening, are you? Well... Because I just want to say that Canadian Direct Insurance could save people money. But there's no art in that. I'm sure you could sneak something in. Closed captioning of this program is brought to you in part by the National Ballet of Cuba's Don Quixote, February 16th to 18th. Welcome back. Uh, Jay's here now with uh, some tennis news and a special guest. Thanks, Lynn. Yes, uh, Ryan Clark, the CEO of Tennis BC, joining us. It's Davis Cup weekend. We were both uh, taking in yesterday's matches, as well as uh, 5,000 of our most uh, you know, personal tennis fans. Absolutely. What were your impressions, what you saw? I think everyone heading in would be happy with the split. We saw that. It looked like, you know, Vasek Pospisil, a little bit overwhelmed facing Joe Wilford Song. It gave away a few points. And then Milos Ronic dominated his match. From your standpoint, what did you see? What we saw first with Milos Ronic, with the win over very, very tough French players in the top 30 in the world, you saw a star. This guy from Canada is going to be in the top 10, probably top 5 in the world very soon. This guy has a massive game. With Vasek when he was playing Sanga, what you saw was, yes, Sanga was better. He played truly like a top 5 player in the world. But Vasek can play with him. And what you see is someone who will definitely have a shot at being up there in the next few years as he grows and gets stronger. Watching Milos Ronic in his match against Julian Benito, the thing that, that caught me from watching him for the very first time up close and personal was he always seemed to be in control. His demeanor on the court so calm he really looks like he's a rising star in the world of tennis he abso absolutely is you know what, what we really like to see with him is he's very calm out there doesn't strain his muscle never looks like he's overexerted himself he's a great example for all athletes he's never overexerted which is going to keep him healthy and strong for years to come it'll avoid him of injuries as well and it's also nice when you can pull out a 150 mile an hour serve when he did as well yeah they were throwing the aces up yesterday in the stands okay let's chat about uh Vashik's game yeah i thought he gave away a lot of points to Sanga, and of course, you know, Sanga's ranked sixth in the world, and we saw his world class yeah. talent. Um, learning experience for, for Vasha? This match that he played against one of the best players in the world will serve him very well going into the future here. This, this, he needed to have this match, and you know, he was playing, and Sanga was just a couple balls better. There was times and points where Vasik really thought he'd won the point multiple mm -hmm. times, and Sanga is big and fast. He runs unbelievably quick for such a big guy so Vasek would think he's won the point but then Songa would just somehow get there and turn it into a winner so you know good experience I think this is going to help him out and the next time this comes up maybe Vasek will be on the other side of the winning table 
When we look at heading into today's doubles play, uh, we all know the scenario. First one of three wins. We saw the Americans today. They swept out Switzerland. Bit of an upset there. Huge. Is this the turning point right now, whoever wins this doubles match? Well, if Canada wins this doubles point, wow, get ready. Wow, major upset alert if we can win doubles here. But let's get, the, get through this. But, you know, I'll tell you what. Nestor, one of the best doubles player in the history, not just in Canada, but in the history. Vasek, incredibly talented. He's going to take what he learned from Songa yesterday. Daniel's going to have Vasek ready to go. I can assure you he's going to get him, getting him fired up in the locker room right now, probably mm. as we speak. They are ready to go. Do you think uh, France thinking a little bit like, you know what, we didn't see uh, Monfils yesterday, mm -hmm. thinking this is going to be a little more difficult than we think? I think they just saw that, especially with the way Milos played. They go, wow, if, if Canada gets the doubles win today, man, Reynich against Songa, first matchup on Sunday, very tantalizing for the fans, but that could be the decider match. I wouldn't want to play Milos Reynich right now. Chatting with you last night when I was watching the matches and chatting with other officials uh, in the world of tennis, you brought up a very interesting point. What this does for the sport of tennis in our country, how much it uplifts everybody, gets everybody into it, but what it means for junior tennis and the stars of tomorrow. Well, it's incredibly galvanizing. Yeah. Everybody comes together and, and just that feeling of collective, like a giant group hug is going on at the same mm -hmm. time here. But kids see that and they believe. They start to see Vasek out there who they used to see in our junior tournaments. They see these people who they can train and play beside and they start thinking, you know what, I can be there. And that's the secret for any sport. You got to believe that you have to, that you can be there. And I think that's what we're seeing with our kids. They're going to see this and say, hey, I can be there too. The thing that impressed me the most when I was watching the matches, aside from the talent on the court, was I'm sitting there watching everybody's enthusiasm. All I could think about was, this is a tennis city. Mm -hmm. Everyone always talks about the Lions. Everyone always talks about the Vancouver Canucks. It's been 22 years since we saw Davis Cup here. We need to have this coming back regularly. This is now a tennis city, too. We're on the map as well. We're right there with all the other top sports. This is also a tennis city, and I, I agree. We do need to keep moving up our levels of uh, events that we have here, and we can deliver on that, and we will give it our best shot over these next coming years. How much has Vasek's doubles game either improved or maybe plateaued because he's been rising so much now as a singles player? Well, anytime you know you come up through the you know call it the double A and the triple A balls, and he's he's swept through that, and he's now clearly ready to play with the big boys. But once you get in with the big boys, the difference is so slight. So now you don't just make these exponential jumps. Your jumps are going to be a little smaller now. He's got wins over guys in the top 30, top 40, even top 20 in the world, but. To do that on a regular basis is another whole thing, but he is still young, he's 21, he's getting bigger, he's getting stronger. As he adds more muscle, adds more weight, adds more oomph to the game, you'll see him move up. Okay, quickly give us a quick scouting report, uh, 20 seconds or less. What do you expect to see in today's doubles match? Because we're expecting to see Daniel Nestor partnering up with Vasek Possible. So you, you think we'll see the French going after Possible so more so than, than Daniel because he'll be the best player on the court? I think court. that's going to be their first line of thinking. Is they're going to they're gonna have to va going after Vasek early is probably will be their plan. If Vasek can show them to say, hey, I'm as good a doubles player in the world as anybody, which he can be, then they're going to have to change their tactics. And I can tell you, Nestor is going to be ready to go. Nestor wants to win this bad, too. It's going to be a tough one for the French, but it'll be a great match. Ryan Clark, the CEO of Tennis BC. Uh, doubles play today goes at 2 o'clock. And uh, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Stay out of the Lint chocolate lineup because I saw you with a handful yesterday. I yeah. wasn't the only guy in the lineup <laughs> either. Good you know chocolate. what I'm talking about at home. Good chocolate, good espresso there. There you go. Lynn, back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Love and marriage can happen at any age. Up next, we'll introduce you to a couple who proves it's never too late to tie the knot.